Hi, I'm Arlen Walker and I'm live from Pelham's Wasteland and today I have got another episode of March Character Creation Madness for you guys. So we are going to be creating a character for Supers! Exclamation point, revised edition by Hazard Studios. This is a uh, another superhero game. The original game um, looks like uh, original game designed by Simon Washburn of Barbarians of Lemuria fame. Um, and then uh, this version is by some other people that I don't recognize, um, but Hazard Studios. And there's uh, a couple of books, um, kind of support books for this, which is pretty cool. So Supers is a pretty simple system in the sense that it just uses D6s um, and you roll a dice pool of D6s when you try to do something or try to oppose someone else doing something. You have your four resistances, and then you have a certain number of aptitudes, advantages, disadvantages, and powers. So to build our character, we are going to, um, I think we're going to build a 25 point character, a 25 dice character, which means that we um, have 25 dice to spend at character creation on things. Um, because that's a little, so superhero 20 to 25 dice. I think if we end up playing with this character, it'll be solo. And I like creating powerful characters. So we are going to create a new superhero who has some cool powers. So, um, composure is going to be two. That's, uh, do, do, do. Um, you know, pretty good, better than the human average. Human average is one, um, so he's a little more composed, but he might have some kind of, I'm thinking maybe some underlying rage issues is my idea. So fortitude and reaction both at three, that's basically at the kind of um, human elite level. Um, not quite the absolute peak of human perfection, but pretty close, pretty close. Maybe this guy, I've, I had this idea to have our character be like a, an ex-Special Forces character, like an army ranger or something, and um, maybe that's a good idea. We'll have a, a like former army ranger. And then Will is going to be four. Super, super high Will. So resistances, that puts us at 12 points in resistances. Um, and does disadvantages count up or count down? Counts up. So that's good to know. Um, all right. Initiative. Where do we, where's initiative? I don't remember what it is. Um, oh, initiative is just the reaction or, um, super senses or anything like that that allows the character to go first anyway um all right so we are going to have some aptitudes aptitudes are basically skills um and they start at um so basically the way they work is that you roll as many dice as you have in the aptitudes but you only take the three best at maximum so if you have like four dice in the aptitude, then that's it. Um, but you start with one die for free in each aptitude. So we are gonna start, we're gonna do uh, fighting at three, shooting at three, and athletics at two. So that spins us two, two, one, so five points on aptitudes. So we're at 17 points. So that's pretty cool. Basically what we do, so I can minimize the character sheet to show you the roles, um, but let's say we're fighting somebody hand to hand, fist to fist. We roll our fighting. And we got a five. We rolled two, two, one, nasty. Uh, shooting. We rolled a nine. That's better. A two, one, and a six. Um, 
So basically what this does is this is both um, on your turn you can make one attack per turn unless you buy a special advantage that lets you do multiple um, attacks per turn and kind of separate out your actions differently. Um, but you can make as many defenses as you want, but you can only use each individual thing for one defense per turn. So for instance, let's say we wanted to um, shoot at somebody, we would use our character shooting, but then if we, you know, somebody came up and tried to punch us, we couldn't use shooting to defend ourselves. Now shooting wouldn't really make sense for defending ourselves in that situation, but fighting would. And then if two people tried to punch us, we would probably have to do a fighting defense and a reaction defense to try to, um, because we couldn't use fighting multiple times without taking a special bonus um, to use it multiple times. So anyway, um, that is just how um, that works. All right, powers. We're going to do armor at five. Soak plus recharge minus device equals six points. So what that means is one, two, three, four, five, six. Soak allows us, because I, I was looking through this and thought this was a really cool thing. Um, so soak means that basically as we um, get hit, we can, instead of subtracting from our resistances, we can subtract from our armor, which basically represents our armor getting damaged. But then recharge allows the armor to rebuild back up over the course of... Um, Recharge one minus device. Recharge means that our armor will build back up. So I'm picturing we've got a, a sort of ex army ranger who's been chosen for a special assignment and he's got some sort of, I'm picturing it as sort of like a, a, a harness, almost like a vest, but you know, more like a, a plate carrier sort of looking thing. And it's got all these metal pieces and stuff on it. And it projects like a force field, like a, a blue rippling effect over him um, that is armored. And so it allows him to, um, you know, absorb the, the armor will uh, shrug off bullets and um, do all that sort of stuff. So he can, you know, get shot at and not have to worry about it and all that sort of stuff. So I think that would be pretty cool. All right. And then we're going to do... Super weapon, I think, is the one. Let's see. Super weaponry. Have some sort of weapon. All right, so we are going to do super weaponry three. Super weaponry at three, armor five, and that's important because that'll, it, as it ticks down, we'll remember the five. And we have base minus touch attack. Minus device equals let's do super weaponry four then equals two points. So that brings us up to eight. Actually we'll do three and we'll add one. Um so super weaponry three. So he's got, in addition to this kind of harness, it's got like gloves or something, and it has a sort of projector version of this um, power. So he can, you know, punch people and blast them essentially. That's what I'm picturing, because um, that would be cool. And then what else are we going to do? We are going to do um, 
So we've got one more point to spend, but we can take some disadvantages to get us more points. I think what we'll do is another super weaponry. Um, and we'll do um, minus device, minus um, base, minus device. And we'll do ammo as one of the limitations. That's a good one. Um, nice ammo one equals. So device gives us six, five. Device gives us one point back. Ammo one use per session gives us five points back. So we could do super weaponry six for free. We could do super weaponry seven for one point. Do, 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 and that gives us up to 25. And then, so that gives us, we've got our character's armor and we've got his kind of special gloves that he can punch and blast people with. And then he's got some sort of like, I'm picturing almost like the, the Iron Man, like central chest laser thing that he can like set off one single huge blast to, you know, absolutely rip apart something. Um, but he can only do it once per session. So that's kind of a cool, and it seems like that's kind of a cool concept, right? Is that um, this idea of having a sort of one-shot thing that you can do once per session. All right, let's do, let's see, disadvantages. Hmm. <laughs> Pendant. Daughter. And. Affiliation. Special forces. All right, that seems like two good ones. So our character has a dependent, a daughter, who um, gets into trouble sometimes, and we have to help out and that sort of thing. Um, and then also we have an affiliation with the special forces, and um, they're going to give us assignments and have rules and all that sort of stuff. That seems like a good... Um... Yeah. Yeah. All right, that gives us minus two for disadvantages, so we could have two advantages. Advantages. Uh, let's say... Hmm. Let's do leadership. Team. And we'll have one competency die saved. That seems like a good thing. So advantages one. Competency die. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so that's going to be our superhero. We're going to call his hero name is Aegis after the shield, and his real name is William. No. John Stri Striker. 
John Stryker. Jr. John Stryker Jr., who's an ex, like, Army Ranger or something like that, and he wears this kind of special suit with a harness built in, and it has kind of gloves and a sort of laser beam in the center, and he's really good. You know, he's good at fighting. He's good at shooting. He's good at um, all sorts of different stuff. Um they, uh, and he's, you know, he's got a daughter who he's got to look after, and he's got his special forces affiliation, but he's a leader, and he's pretty, pretty tough. He's got a bit of a rage issue, and he's got this sort of special armor that is, is super tough. Yeah, 20 for the check. That is pretty powerful. Um, all right. John Stryker Jr., our, um, Aegis, the, uh, the superhero. Pretty cool stuff. It's a it's a neat system. Um, really very flexible. Kind of an interesting blend of different influences in a number of ways. This supers game, and I should say there is a um, a hack for supers that requires the core book, um, but it is designed for more kind of action movie stuff with um, you know like Mission Impossible style stuff where you have you know, high, highly capable action movie characters, but not actual superpowers, um, which sounds pretty cool. I might have to check that one out too. Um, anyway, that is going to be that. So thank you for watching. Um, yeah, pretty cool game. A pretty cool game. Um, I will end, as I always do, by saying that uh, I've been Arlen Walker. I've been live from Pelham's Wasteland, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.